in part four of Reconstruction, we're looking at uh, the, the God who raised Jesus from the dead is calling us to reconstruct uh, our faith and reconstruct also our church. So Steve uh, Engel, thanks for, for teaching us. And uh, man, it sounded like you have a, you and the rest of the leaders at Cornerstone, we have a plan for where we want to take mm-hmm. uh, church, where we want to take this. And um, I'm glad it sounded that way. It really did sound like that. If you haven't caught the message yet, I'd say go back and, and listen to part four of Reconstruction because in that, you uh, you don't really necessarily mourn the fact that we're kind of reconstruct or deconstructing what church is mm-hmm. and instead are really leaning into what the reconstruction could look mm-hmm. like. Yeah, I think, the, I think the deconstruction in a lot of ways has happened and in some ways is still happening, but I think there's at a certain point we have to be okay with what is God creating and what, what is, what's God making new. And there's a lot ahead of us. And I've said this, I, mean, I said it in the sermon, but I've said this to so many people like the, the pandemic and all the things that happened during those couple years for not just Cornerstone, but for all the churches in, in the U S um, it was, it was brutal, but it was like this refining that, I think God took us through and and I've never been more hopeful about where we're where we're being led. And so, yeah, I think we have a plan, but it's like our plan is I, for me more than ever where's where's the Holy Spirit leading us and how do we follow what Jesus said and what Jesus did and create and cultivate a community that really leans in there. Yeah, and that mission statement is so is so powerful. Mm-hmm. But uh why why do you think it got so easy for us as people of the church, and you grew mm. up in the church as well, to kind of walk with Jesus and miss him. Like mm. the people in the road to Emmaus were mm-hmm. like in yeah. his space for probably six hours and kind of missed it. Yeah, I mean, I think this happens, this, and this will happen to us in different seasons too, where, where we'll miss it because we're imperfect people living in an imperfect world. But you have to be very aware of when your preferences, your greed, your pride, your desire for uh, for power and authority and all those things start to creep in and and that's been the narrative for a long time is like we want to be in power and that was never the narrative Jesus gave us Mm -hmm. and so um it's this conflicting the conflicting ideologies of like me and what I desire and Jesus and what he desires and the inverted nature of what Jesus calls us to flips all of this upside down. So, um, I don't. That's why I said I can relate. I don't think it's. I don't think it's difficult to miss Jesus. I think it's way more difficult and way more challenging to actually do what He calls us to because it's tough. Yeah, it and can, and you be, you assert in the message that that it's that's the reason why people are leaving the church, not necessarily according to some, but leaving the church because they're infatuated maybe with the idea of Jesus and loving Jesus mm-hmm. and following and believing in Jesus, but not not super hot on actually doing what he said we should do. And mm-hmm. Yeah, there's an openness to Jesus in ways that I don't know if we've ever seen before, but like I just saw a tweet the other day of someone, someone posed the question, what made you deconstruct? And Almost, there was like a few hundred replies and it was like the people, the people, the people, the people, the people. Um, Deconstruct your association with the church. The people, the people, the people, the people. And so I think that like, if we don't take a look in the mirror on those things and go, what are, how are we, if people are open to Jesus and attracted to Jesus, but are distancing themselves from his bride because of us, what does that mean? Like what, what, there's gotta be a refining that goes on and a deconstruction and a reconstruction. And so... Um, I think we got a long ways to go there, but it's exciting to try and represent the Jesus that anyone that came across him, except for those living outside of, you know, Pharisees, Sadducees, teachers of the law, Um, really were attracted to. You also mentioned that this is a hard thing, Mm -hmm. and uh, I really do want to pause and talk maybe about or maybe to the people who are really mourning the deconstruction and kind of wish especially for those of you who've been at Cornerstone for a while, wish that maybe in a way we could go back to 2015 because of the feeling that I had, because of the memories I have there, because of the the way God met me there. 
and uh, you, you were pretty, you know, we're, we're pretty staunch as a leadership team. Now that we have a new leadership team in place, mm -hmm. we have a new, kind of a new way, a new method, uh, new preferences that mm -hmm. we want to uh, go towards. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to say to that person? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a few things, and, and we've kind of hit this a couple times throughout this series, but um, one, I would say, hang in there. Um, two, I would say, I get it. And three, I think, I would say, I, I believe God is calling us to more than what I want and what I liked and what I was comfortable with. Um, like I said, I get it, but there's a certain time where if we can remove our preferences and move toward if church isn't about me and church is about you or church is about us, then it shifts the way we approach this. And it's also church isn't about what happens on an hour on a Sunday um, or an hour on whenever you're able to, to join. It's like this is a gathering of people that are attempting to give, to show a glimpse of the kingdom of God. That is our purpose. And so can we just commit to that? And I believe in that because I, even the, the folks that are saying, I just want to go. I, I'm so excited because I know who you are and I know where we're going. And I know God's got big things for us. Absolutely. And when I hear Steve talking about a group of broken people uh, together in community, uh, uh, moving towards that which God has for us, uh, loving our neighbors, serving one another, or serving the community, uh, sharing advantage, and then including everyone. That gets me super excited. And if that's you too, if you get excited about that, I want you to join us. Uh, join us also in conversation and engagement. Uh, you can join us around the table. You can come to one of our buildings. We want to see you. We want to do this together. Uh, don't, don't do this alone. Don't reconstruct anything uh, just by yourself, uh, but instead do it in community. I'm so glad you were here today, and I hope to see you next time.